Hi, I'm Alan Spears with Rugged Marine, and today I'm going to show you in our showroom here, we've got one of our Night Chaser uh, Marine cameras here. It is part of our Max Night series. We're using a special technology, which we'll tell you more about in some later videos, that uh, basically ramps up the light that we can see at nighttime, and we're putting out more power as well. This particular model is our LED model, and I'll start talking about that in a moment, but let's talk about this case. We buy this case, in fact we've been buying it for a lot of years. When we first bought it, we really didn't like how it was built, so we basically build this thing uh, with everything inside it when we get it. In other words, we install our own precision stepper motors, and they're very, very accurate to like .007 of a degree. So that'll give us a lot of accuracy when we're trying to come back to uh, a different preset position every time and be exact when we get back there. We also uh, import uh, another pulley for this unit from Italy. It's a much better metal gear, not a plastic gear. We also import the belts from Japan because the previous belts that when we first started using them were lasting no more than six, seven months. Now we've got a belt with years of life in it and won't weather on you as well. Uh, also, we got a high quality slip ring set for power and video in the bottom of this unit, which gives us uh, about 15 million cycle life. Triple lightning and surge protection built in, all weather seals and gaskets to mill standard 810 or IP66. Uh, this unit, the, the LED version, gives us a pretty wide power uh, range, in other words from 10 and a half to 18 volts DC. That works really well on lots of boats and ships that uh, don't have a very steady voltage range. Now our other models, which we'll talk about in a little bit, which are a uh, laser infrared that we build into this side, and then we do a thermal unit uh, with a FLIR thermal unit into this side as well, they operate on 24 volts AC because they need a very stable power. Uh, this uh, has a built-in memory, not only for presets and cruises, but also can resume operations. If you were to lose power on this unit, you bring power back to it, it's going to start what it was doing when it lost power. Wide temperature range on this thing, more than 30 degrees below zero Fahrenheit, more than 130 degrees Fahrenheit above, so it can really withstand a lot of different positions. We've had it lower, we've had it higher than that, and it still operates, but that's what we certify it as. There's 128 different preset positions that you can record into this unit, and then you can use some of those to record six different cruise tracks. You can have up to 16 presets per cruise track in these units, and then you've got three pattern tours, up to 200 seconds on each. And a pattern tour is a little bit different than a preset position because uh, a preset is going to go from one preset to the other, and a pattern tour can learn where you want it to go. It's going to follow exactly how you do it, exactly how fast you do it, how far that you zoom in, and you can uh, program up to 200 seconds in each one of those pattern tours. This unit is super shockproof. It does come with a mount that we'll show you a little bit later that is a vibration isolator, but even without that, it's greater than 4G shockproof on this camera. You can do software uh, address changes in this. It's set to PTZ ID 1 uh, on this unit in our showroom, but you can change it to two or three just through the uh, on-screen menu without having to go in and actually physically flip a switch like most PTZs. There are four alarm inputs on this unit and one alarm output, and it is useful for a wide variety of things. If um, a motion detector on board uh, tells it to, to turn to position, it can. You can push a button and get it to turn to position. A lot of things you can use inputs and outputs for, and we can talk about that in another video. Um, also, the only thing that we build into all of these models is the Sony Day-Night WDR 36 time uh, zoom unit with 12 time digital. And that gives us not only the best low light, 0.01 lux uh, ability on a, on a day night color black and white camera, but it also gives us the longest zoom of 36 times, actually 432 times of zoom when you count the 12 times of digital. Now this particular unit has the LEDs in it right here that you can see. And um, I like this unit. Let's talk about, uh, one of the things I want to talk about is with a standard PTZ, um, you can't turn above horizon level. You can go down all the way to 90 degrees down, as this one will do, but you can't turn any above horizon level. 
And of course, you're going to need to do that on a boat or ship because as the boat or ship is going down, you need to be able to get above the horizon level. This unit will go minus 90 to plus 90. So if you need to watch the skies, you can absolutely do that as well. And of course, 360 degrees turning uh, continuously because of that slip ring that I was telling you about before. On our different models, this one has the LEDs in it. Uh, basically, uh, we take those out for a different model and put in an infrared laser. Now, our laser is really unique because we can get about 1,650 feet range out of it, whereas our LEDs are about 500 feet under most conditions, 1,650 for the laser. And the laser has optics on it so that you can widen it out or narrow it up. It's going to do it naturally when you zoom. It's going to narrow up when you zoom far and widen out. But you can also operate that independently. The other model we make has a FLIR or ICX thermal unit on this side. And that, of course, has got a 50 millimeter lens that we put on it. And that gives you about 7,200 feet detection range, or 2.2 kilometers. Uh, and it gives you recognition distance of at least 2,550 feet or 780 meters. Uh, now let's talk a little bit about the mounts that come with this unit. You can mount it just as it is with one of our gaskets and of course these gaskets are used in all situations to give you um, uh, uh, between any metals for dissimilar metals. So you can isolate your metals with these gaskets. We also give you a vibration mount if you have a lot of vibration on board, this rubber mount will help you to get rid of that. You can put these on bottom and top of that and isolate it from any other metals on board. Uh, we have a wall mount. You may could put this on um, a mast or sail and you can again use those same gaskets here and here, not only to mount the camera, but also to mount this wall mount unit as well. And they're included with every single unit. It also has military connectors. Now, you know these are tough. You can lock them down. You can even get uh, the uh, Allen wrenches and lock them in place. They're totally waterproof and they're built to mill standard as well. So that's basically our three models of our Night Chaser, the LED version, the laser infrared version, and the thermal version. And we're going to take a look now at some footage from uh, first the laser infrared version. We'll show you what that looks like. As you see there, you could uh, narrow that laser up or you could widen it out even when you're not zooming or not because you could read every single thing on that boat. Now we're going to show you a little bit from the uh, FLIR thermal unit in here and we'll take a look at that now. As you can see, the thermal gives you a totally different view than you can get from any other type of camera because you have heat signature that you may not get from the uh, laser or infrared. So that's our Max Night Technology Night Chaser unit in all three models of it. Uh, and it's all from Rugged Marine. And if you're watching this on YouTube and not our website, it's marinecamerasystems.com. And I'm Alan Spears with Rugged Marine. Thank you.